Hello everyone. We have prepared a video that we hope will be clear about how to install a lock with a keyboard and a button to be able to open a door only to people who are authorized. To install the system, you will need a central unit like this model called K80. You must connect it to the power with a plug. Before continuing, we want to tell you that although we are going to make the connections with the equipment connected to the current to see its operation, we always recommend that you make all of the connections to have it unplugged from the current to avoid a short circuit. Although you can connect it directly to the K80 unit, to see it more clearly, we recommend a small strip where you can simplify the connections. In the push connector, we will use a yellow wire, and it will be used to receive the contact to open the door. The ground wire, or GND. We will use it in black, and you will receive several connections that with the strip will help us to make it easier. The 12 volt connection we will use the red color, and it will help us to power the devices. We have the lock that we want to use and from which two cables will come out to the COM and NO inputs. The exit button is normally installed inside and is used that anyone who needs to exit can do so only by pressing this button. On the outside to allow access, we recommend this type of keyboard which will be responsible for only allowing authorized people to open the door with a card. In this video, we are not going to see how to program the keyboard. If you need it, we will leave you the keyboard manual to see it is very easy to add cards. To make all the connections, since we will need several cables of different colors, we recommend using Ethernet cables from the keyboard or the exit button to the central unit. This way, you can take them as far as you need. You just have to join both ends with the Ethernet cable and the internal colored cables make the connections that we will indicate. The keyboard will have a strip on the back with different connections that we are going to use. As well as the exit button will have several colored cables. Connects through the Ethernet cable, a cable from the 12 volt input of the keyboard to the 12 volt output of the central unit. Repeat the same process with the GND connection and the black wire. At this time, if the central unit is connected to the current, you will observe how the keyboard turns on and responds to the keystrokes, although it still cannot open the lock. Repeat the same process with the 12 volt connection and the GND wire from the exit button. Verify the push button lights up when receiving power. To make the button can open the door, connect the NO with yellow cable up to the connection that will reach push on the central unit. COM wire marked white to GND input. We repeat the same process on the keyboard, connecting the white cable from COM to GND. Yellow wire from NO to push, just like we did with the exit button. In this way, if we press the exit button or an authorized card approaches the reader, the door will open. We are now going to show you the components that we have used so that you can see even more clearly how to install. This is the K80 central unit, and on one side you have all the connections that we will use for the installation. The button appears at bottom. It is to regulate the time that the door will remain open with each press. We have attached a plug to connect it. The lock has these short cables 
that you will have to extend with a cable of the same section to connect it to the central unit. The lock will be on the opposite side of the cable. The keyboard can only be operated with a card. It does not allow a password to open the door. These are the connections we will use. We recommend an RJ45 cable to which you can cut the terminals to make the installation. This is the result you should get. In normal mode, the lock will be closed but approaching the exit button, it will allow time to exit. Over time, he won't let the door open. From the outside, only an authorized card can open the door. See the summary of the connections. Green wire in the push connector and receives the NO exit button and keyboard. GND connector in black color will be used to ground all necessary connections. 12 volt output in red to power the keypad and exit button. And the connections to the door we have made them directly with a central unit. The summary of the connections in the central unit will be as follows. We hope you liked the explanation on how to assemble this opening system.